In Insight, we look at education, more specifically the United Kingdom versus China. Both countries were part of an extraordinary television experiment. It's called the Big Test, hitting the Chinese way of teaching with the British approach. Who won? CCTV's Richard Bestick holds up the report card. Chinese the Chinese teaching methods came as a shock to the class of British school children, and the students' rebellious response came as a shock to a horrified British nation. I'm not doing this. I've never seen a student like you. As the 50 strong class of 13 and 14 year olds showed themselves, according to Britain's normally resilient Fleet Street Press, to be disrespectful and arrogant. As the weeks passed, and the big test neared, relations between teachers and students mellowed, even if the academic regime was unrelenting. What is needed for photosynthesis to take place? Sophie? Uh, carbon dioxide. Carbon dioxide? Water. Water? And then the sunlight. OK, you, you, you... The Chinese students were gripped by a competitive fervour. Guys, shush. Would the Chinese or British teaching system come out on top? The pressure began to tell. The English system was at in A, but would it deliver? So what did the tale of the test tell us? Which system worked best in the cauldron of the examination hall when students who'd undergone the Chinese system were tested against those who'd continued in the English style. And if Chinese school has won the day, then that's going to be quite interesting for us, I think, at Bohunt. The Chinese school average mark for maths, 67.74%. Bohunt year nine, 54.84%. <laughs> There is more. Bohunt, year nine, average mark for Mandarin, 36.46. Chinese school, 46.88. For science, Chinese school, 58.33. Bohunt, year nine, 50. I have to attempt to be gracious and say to Chinese school, very, very well done. And, yeah, the inquiry will commence. Thank you very much and well done. And well done. So the Chinese system won resoundingly. Three cheers for the teachers! Him, him! For the students and teachers, there was time for a tearful farewell possibly leaving behind more questions than answers. Maybe the Chinese way of teaching, to some extent, kills the student's imagination, uh, freedom of thinking, uh, critical thinking, and uh, creativity. This was far from a scientific experiment. It was reality TV designed to entertain and perhaps to inform a little. It did, though, get us questioning and asking which is the best system. The answer, of course, is perhaps a little bit of both. However, as UK teachers have already discovered, once students start questioning ideas to destruction, their first challenge is always authority itself. Is that a good thing or a bad thing? It's for you to decide. Richard Bestick, CCTV, London.